That part I remember. <laughs> <laughs> that part I remember. Yeah. Are we ready, it's clerk's office? Like, yep, we're ready. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning and welcome to the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting for Tuesday, April 28th. Would you please join me in a salute to our flag? On my left is Commissioner Todd Wilchin, Deb Chore. On my right, <coughs> Commissioner Bill Avery, and I'm Larry Hedkins, Vice Chair of the Lancaster County Board. Mr. Clerk, will you begin the agenda, please? Uh, copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk staff. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Agenda item one are minutes, approval of the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held on Tuesday, April 21st, 2015. Move approval. Second. Are there additions or corrections to the minutes? If not, call the roll, please. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number two are claims, approval of all claims process through April 28th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Seeing none, call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number three is a special presentation. Recognition of Ed Binder in conjunction with the National Volunteer Month. We're very privileged this morning to have uh, General Binder with us. Uh, he greets us every morning when we come to work. He's always here before we are, and uh, a, a true servant of the of the people. And Commissioner Deb Shore has got a, a presentation, and then Dan Noldy, our clerk, will do a little reading about uh, your accomplishments. Well, as you may be aware, Mr. Chair, members of the board, that April is National Volunteer Month. And um, I only thought it appropriate that we honor our most favorite volunteer who, as you said, greets us every single day. And when I mentioned I was interested in, in recognizing him as part of this national celebration, word kind of spread. And there are quite a few of our guests here tonight who, or this afternoon, this morning, who are here um, honoring you as well. And uh, we have some comments uh, that have been submitted to the clerk's office, so it would be um, our pleasure to have those read now. The Lancaster, Board of the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners is pleased to honor retired Major General Ed Binder in celebration of April as National Volunteer Month. The recognition is submitted on behalf of the dozens of county employees that work in the county city building and the numerous visitors that enter the building every day. General Binder has volunteered at the information desk three mornings a week without fail for over 20 years. Following a distinguished law enforcement and military career, he has chosen to continue his public service through volunteerism. When word spread we were to recognize General Binder, the emails began arriving. Each employee wanted to share their own story about him. Here are just a few. Gwen Thorpe, Deputy Lancaster County Administrator. General Binder has a thorough knowledge of how and where government business is conducted in both Lincoln and Lancaster County, so he is able to, um, able to um, ask that as he greets visitors, but also employees in the two buildings. His wonderful disposition, knowledge of the news both locally and around the world, and his sense of humor all serve to brighten the days of all of us fortunate enough to have him in our lives three days a week. His vitality is an inspiration to many. Visitors to the building are often unsure as to which department or office they may need. Steve Wetzel with the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office says, as part of my security duties, I stop frequently in the county city building. There is a substantial volume of people wishing to speak to a prosecutor in connection with law violation citations. It is confusing wh whether the city or county attorney will be handling certain prosecutions, but General Binder no knows where to direct people. He gives clear and precise directions to these offices. We also have a fair number of visitors who are senior citizens. 
Scott Gaines and Amy Hansen, the County Assessor's Office, both commented that General Binder has volunteered to assist the elder elderly with homestead exemption applications for over 15 years. His expertise and patience in this process has resulted in many applicants specifically requesting his assistance year after year. General Binder has even been known to make house calls to those applicants who are physically unable to come to the courthouse for his help. His reliability and pride in helping others has been a great asset to our office for many years. Brian Will of the Lincoln Lancaster County Planning Department adds, on a daily basis, the planning department has walk-in customers, many for the first time, and having a helpful, friendly face greet them at the door and help, them, and help guide them to the department serves to make their visit less intimidating and more productive. In this capacity, his volunteer service helps fulfill the larger common goal of all public agencies inside the county city building, providing the best customer service possible. Many of our employees spoke quite personally on how their interactions with General Binder inspired them. Ken Helger with the Bureau of Fire Prevention. Every morning I converse with a man with a friendly smile and personality named Ed. We talk about whatever is happening on the fire side and then he interjects about his past with the fire and military service. He is and has been a great motivator, motivator for me to excel in my profession by teaching me that life is what we make of it. I'm reminded to help others with compassion instead of treating them like a number when their lives have been turned upside down. Many employees treasure their friendship with him and see him as a role model for their own careers. Corey Beatty, Deputy County Clerk, commented, General Binder is so well known in the building that the regulars ask for him upon their arrival. He leads by example, dedicated, professional, helpful, and kind. His quick wit keeps many of us on our toes. Even after celebrating his 90th birthday, he continues to report to duty three mornings a week. For that, we are all very, are all very thankful. One employee used the word hero in his description. What the citizens of this city, county, and state need to know is that to us, in the law and safety enforcement organizations, that there is no finer friend than Ed Binder. In my 35 years as an active deputy sheriff, we called upon the, the Nebraska National Guard numerous times, and we were always offered assistance with equipment or personnel. Now in my second career as sheriff's security officer, I still get to visit with, the one, with one of my heroes, retired Major Ed Binder. I only hope that I can uphold the dedication to our country that he has given and continues to give. Words written by William Coleman, Lancaster County Sheriff's Office. General Binder is such a valued county employee that Dennis Meyer, Lancaster County Budget and Fiscal Officer, jokes with him that he doesn't understand how his paycheck continues to get lost in the mail all these years. <laughs> Deb Shore added, General Binder is a true gentleman. At 92, he jumps out of his chair every time to open our, door our office door for me. It is such a small gesture, but one that illustrates the character, quality, and honor of this man. He is deserving of acknowledgement and recognition. General Ed Binder has lived his entire life with honesty, integrity, and in service to others. He is a perfect role model of someone giving back to the community and is a shining example for all. And with that, if you join me in a round of applause. For Just serve in the city county building, and uh, with all the fine people that are here, and it's been my pleasure to see everybody come and go as we can best expedite them. And uh, I look forward to a couple more years. Thank you, Mr. Kirk. Well, you're certainly welcome. And one of the things that, in uh, commentary we just heard is uh, by teaching me that life is what we make of it. And General Binder, you've certainly made the most of it. Thank you. And uh, Commissioner Avery would like to make a few comments. As a point of personal privilege, I would like to point out that we have two graduates of the U.S. Air Force Academy here today to join in this uh, honoring of you. Uh, as a most distinguished citizen of this uh, county, uh, retired uh, two-star general and former national adjutant general of the National Guard, um, General Lemke and Councilman John Camp. All, both of those are graduates 
Very recent graduates of the U.S. Air <laughs> yeah, Force very Academy. <laughs> Welcome here. And Commissioner Wilchin would like to make a couple comments as well. Uh, and on behalf of all the new employees that c enter into the building, I want to thank you. Um, all too often, sometimes government buildings can be a little scary, but um, you at the front door um, definitely is, is a welcome, um, and we're very uh, uh, lucky to have you. So thanks for your great work. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to honor you, and here's the copy of the remarks. Thank you, everybody. The biggest smile came when Deb hugged him. <laughs> Good job. Well done. And we want to thank all of you for coming and paying tribute to General Binder. Not that you have to leave, but you can, if, especially those on the public dole. <laughs> John, would you like to make a comment or two? Yes, City Councilman John Camp, and thank you for the kind remarks, uh, Commissioner Avery. Unfortunately, I had a slight mishap and wasn't able to graduate from the academy, but I had two fine years there. But thank you for the Well, those were the toughest years. Uh, yes, they were. <laughs> but uh, no, I. I'm not here officially representing the city council, but I want to commend the uh, board of commissioners for recognizing General Binder because uh, he really is a friendly room, face. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think uh, Major General Lemke has a remark or two. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much for uh, honoring Ed as you did. Uh, I'd just like to take you back a little bit. Uh, most of some, well, no, Todd wouldn't. Did, no, actually, most of you don't, except for maybe Bill. Uh, we didn't come out of very out of Vietnam very good times. Uh, the military was really hurting there for a while, especially the Army, and of course, along with that, the National Guard. If you take a look at Ed Binder and where, when he served, he was the one that got our National Guard pointed in the right direction. I think today you'd agree that they're top of their game, and it's all thanks really to Ed. It was a, a, a trend line that was going like this, and he turned that trend line up, and it's been going that way ever since. Thank you. Thank you. This is number four, new business, agreement between United Seeds, Inc., the City of Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the Lincoln-Lancaster County Public Building Commission for the annual supply of grass seed. I would move approval of the agreement. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. B is a partial release of easement within Finnegan's second edition as shown on Exhibit A. Move approval. Second. Been moved and seconded. Discussion or questions? If not, call the roll, please. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Four C's in agreement with the Board of Regents of the University of Nebraska, University of Nebraska at Omaha, for the preparation and presentation of training for the county level three year comprehensive juvenile justice plans. The county shall expand federal grant funds in amount not to exceed $7,500 for their service provided. Term of the agreement is March 15, 2015 to June 30, 2015. Move approval. Second. Discussion. Commissioner Wilchin. Just as always, I'll be abstaining. Any further discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore. Yes. Avery. Yes. Wilchin. Abstain. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries three yes, one abstention. D is a recommendation from the purchasing agent and county engineer to award a bid for spring gravel production and hauling to county stockpiles to Westover's Rock and Sand, Inc. in the amount of $34,600 and Western Sand and Gravel Company in the amount of $306,150. Move approval. Second. Then moved and seconded. We uh, have the county surveyor with us if there are any questions. If not, call the roll, please. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. E is a recommendation from the purchasing agent and county engineer to award a bid for ice control sand and gravel production and hauling to county stockpiles 
to Westover Rock and Sand, Inc., an amount of $16,280, Western Sand and Gravel Company, an amount of $9,280, and L.P. Stewart and Sons, Inc., an amount of $9,000. Move approval. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? Call the roll. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Four F is a recommendation from the purchasing agent and county engineer to award a bid to Hartman Construction Company in the amount of five hundred and sixty one thousand eight hundred and thirty two dollars and twenty eight cents for grading construction on South fifty fourth Street, Hickman Road to Roca Road. Move approval. Second. Discussion. Chairman. Hold the roll. Oh, I just wanted to make sure that this proposal was in the engineer's budget. Yeah. Yeah. Pam and I uh, drove this road as a part of our recent uh, Hickman Road trip and trees are already down on, on either side and I know that the city is excited to maybe have at some point in time some of the traffic off other roadways. Kent Rotary County Engineer's Office. It's scheduled to start construction May 26th. And they have 60 working days to complete it. So yeah, it was in the budget. It's a two mile stretch mm -hmm. northwest of Hickman. These projects are painfully expensive. That's why we ask these questions. Yeah. <laughs> Any further questions? If not, call the roll, please. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. G is a lump sum settlement between Shawano Lind and Lancaster County under Nebraska Workers' Compensation Court case found at DOCA 214, page 1887. Move approval. Second. Discussion. <clears throat> Call the roll, please. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. H is reappointment of Alan Doster and Craig Strong to the Lincoln Lancaster County Board of Health for new terms to expire April 15th, 2018. Move approval. Second, and uh, thank these two gentlemen for their continued service. Any further discussion? Call the roll, please. Hudkins? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Next is number five, consent items. Right away contracts between the county engineer and the following. Josephine Al Alexis Molly, trustee, Northwest 84th Street and West Adams Street in the total amount of $254. This is for two contracts. Ronald G. and Karen J. Essink, co-trustees, South 134th Street and Panama Road, $3,298. Ivan D. and Beverly F. Nisley, trustees, Apple Street and Bennett, Nebraska, $114. Receive and place on file the report from Lancaster County Sheriff for March of 2015. Move approval of the consent items. Second. Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Avery? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number six is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business not on the agenda may do so at this time. Welcome. Gary Aldridge, Lincoln, Nebraska. Government is legitimate only with citizen participation. I do not live in Saline County, if you prefer Saline County. I do not work in Saline County. I do not vacation in Saline County. I do not own real property in Saline County. I do not pay tax, property tax in Saline County. For me, Saline County is not a destination. It is a drive-through or flyover location. The old business for me here today was New Business C on 17 March 2015, R150011. Shall Lancaster County issue bonds NTE $6.5 million 
to fund or monetize Tabitha Inc. project. The project may be worthwhile. I'm not here to debate worthwhile. That discussion is for others. Only children believe all worthwhile or necessary stuff happens. Emeritus, Bond Council, and Tabitha spoke about the project, all favorably. This is not the first time and possibly not the last time Emeritus is, has pitched a bond scheme. Emeritus is more mercenary than altruistic. Tabitha explained the parameters and purpose. Bond Council explained why Lancaster County fingerprints were necessary on the project. The board must, must establish and or satisfy a, quote, reasonable relationship, end quote, with the project for investors to qualify debt as tax exempt. No one asked if the project would move forward without Lancaster County. Important question. Every day, any number of commercial and nonprofit projects move or fail to move without government. This is one cost of doing business. Ain't democracy beautiful? Like others, Saline County has established in law a political subdivision with responsibilities for county operations. You do not and cannot speak or act for Saline County, and yet you have. For this project, Crete and Saline County would not or could not act, and yet this board has. Both Crete and Saline County stand to benefit from the project, yet both Crete and Saline County stood mute and motionless. We are told both Crete and Saline County, quote, have a number of financing needs of their own. They are not willing to move forward on the financing for someone like Tabitha, end quote. Tabitha sounds thoroughly dangerous. Some may argue that Crete and or Saline County are more miserly or stingy or pragmatic or realistic or sensitive to citizen taxpayers. Lancaster County citizens now own this project or at least the financing, with a promise of no risk, no taxpayer liability. Taxes are an essential obligation of citizenship for my own safety sake, not the safety sake of Crete or Saline County. Bond Council claims taxpayers bear no financial risk or liability. Well, perhaps only collateral administrative discomfort. The bonds, in fact, will bear hold harmless language to shelter taxpayers. Bond Council claims there is no risk or liability. Bond Council may offer an opinion of risk or liability. A court of competent jurisdiction may disagree. No guess then who the loser is. The opinion of Bond Council disappoints extremely. One may think all 1L students would learn in the first hour or second hour, but surely before lunch, that judges, not opinions, decide law. You are not betting on a horse in a one-horse field. For the odds of an event, maybe political subdivisions should hire Las Vegas bookies for legal advice. One minute. The thank you. The French have a word for this action, bêtise, B-E-T-I-S-E. Yes, uh, Gary, uh, we had many of the same questions that you had. The reason we became involved is because Tabitha's offices are located in Lancaster County. Okay, anyone else wishes to make a public comment? If not, Mr. Clerk, will you proceed on with the announcements? The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold a staff meeting on Thursday, April 30th, 2015 at 8.30 a.m. in the Bill Luxford studio of the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold their next regular meeting on Tuesday, May 5th, 2015 at 10.30 a.m. in Room 112 of the County City Building with the Board of Equalization immediately following. County Commissioners can be reached at 402-441-7447 or commish at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting is broadcast live. It is rebroadcast on Tuesday and Saturday on Five City TV Cable Channel 5. In addition, the meeting may be viewed on the internet at lancaster.ne.gov under Five City TV Video On Demand or Five City TV on YouTube. Will we adjourn? Second. Call the roll, please. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero.
We'll adjourn the regular county board meeting and open the Lancaster County Board of Equalization meeting for Tuesday, April 28th. Can you begin the agenda, please, Mr. Clark? A copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk staff. The material can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Also in attendance this morning is Scott Gaines from the county assessor's office. Agenda item one or minutes approval of the minutes of the Board of Equalization meeting held on Tuesday, April 21st, 2015. Move approval. Second. Are there additions or corrections? Seeing none, call the roll, please. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number two are additions and deductions to the tax assessment rolls. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Shore? Yes. Welchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Number three is a public hearing for motor, a motor vehicle tax exemption application for Christ United Methodist Church. We'll open the public hearing on the motor tax exemption application for Christ United Methodist Church. Are there those that would wish to speak in favor? Opposed? Or in a neutral position? Seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. Move approval of the application. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Wilchin? Yes. Avery? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Next is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to County Board of Equalization business not on the agenda may do so at this time. Anyone wishes to make public comment? Seeing none, proceed with the agenda. Move we adjourn. Second. Call the roll, please. Yes. Avery? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time and attention. And Toper, thanks for coming in early.